Hello party people and welcome back to Tastow. Today I am going to guys show you guys a bit of a Ulta haul. So I got some things in store but I also got some things online. And so if you want to see what I got in this bag, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is nothing new at all. It is the Equal Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo. And I swear by this. Now, when I tell you that I got my first bottle of this maybe like a year and a half ago, and just now I have like this much left of it, this is the first thing I got. And if you don't use this, I, I'm, I'm, shh, please do. <laughs> The next thing I got is the new Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. And I got the shade Soft Brown. The next thing I got is also not new to my collection. It is the Morphe Eyelid Primer. I'm not even close to using all of this up. I just wanted to get a new one just in case one I use up all of it I have my other one because I love this as well it is the best lid primer in all of eternity and I will I would I if I didn't have it I don't know what I would do so next <sighs> still not new to me is the hangover RX replenishing face primer and I use this primer every single time I do my makeup all right party people I'm back sorry about that it was my mom calling me so the next thing I'm going to show is the NYX can't stop pulling stuff foundation um I figured I would give this another chance because I didn't get my shade the first time and I'm I barely just I barely tested it out. I just ruled it crappy because of the primer and I hated the primer so much. So I got this in my actual shade, I'm hoping. So I figured I would try it again. If not, I can always return it. Not a big deal. So with that, I got the Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder that came out in the light medium banana shade. I also got the new Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner, the mini one, just to see, to test it out. And if I like it, then I will get the other one. Um, let me just open it up. Show you guys. Wow, it's pretty. It's a pretty liner. Alrighty. I got the next can't stop won't stop concealer so I'm just gonna basically do a whole retesting of the whole thing so look out for a video of a testing out of the foundation the setting powder and the concealer all together because that's what I plan to do next I got the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Yay! Yeah. Super excited to use this. And then with that foundation, I wanted to try out the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I got pairs. I got pairs of things that I can test out together. And then. I saw this and I was really excited to use this. It's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. And next, I got the Alme Lip Vibes um, Bullet 
lipstick. Um, I saw that they came with these new ones, and they reminded me of the Sephora Lip Stories. And so I decided to get one because I never got to try the Sephora Lip Stories. So I got it in the shade Dream, of course, because it's blue. And now I'm just going to try this one because why not? And you guys know I don't like lipsticks. I like liquid lipsticks, but look, look. That is very pretty. And it has a little bit of glitter reflect. I know I didn't do a very good job at lining this up, but I like it a lot. It's very soft. And very pretty. I like it a lot. And then I just got these samples because I bought a lot of things. So I got the Master Size All Day Liquid Liner, which you guys know I did not like. <sighs> but so I might just put this in a, like a little giveaway. And next they gave me this L'Oreal Palace Paris Hydrogenous, I guess. Um like a micellar water to remove makeup so like that and then I got this because they didn't have what I wanted they gave me this NARS radiant creamy concealer sample with not even my shade love that <laughs> so that is what I got for my Ulta haul. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. See you soon, party people.